Hi everyone, it's Kim from JustWords.ca. I'm here today to do another Whimsy Stamp um, coloring tutorial. Uh, I did promise you that I was going to create a card with my last image that I colored, and here it is here. A little hard to see. I, uh, I did record myself. I did a video making this, but I struggled. I'm just saying I struggled. So I just thought I would show it to you quickly and move on to coloring where I feel the most comfortable. I seem to have gotten a, a piece caught in there. Okay, so this cute little quirky little stamp is Holly Sugar Bells the Elf and it's illustrated by Lizzie Love and I thought um, it was quite uh, a quite a unique image and I thought I would love to color it up. So we are going to do the skin tone first and I'm using pro markers this time around which most times I do for skin. Coral sun-kissed pink make sure I have my right color sun-kissed pink blush and for lips I've got baby pink and antique pink I've got a color in here that doesn't belong okay so let me make sure I'm in your frame nicely Take off the glasses because I cannot see for the life of me nice and close. I get a new prescription so I can see and then wrecks my my close up vision. sure if that was supposed to be colored in or not for under the eye. I'm going to take the executive guess and do it, but I may be wrong. Don't worry that I colored the eyebrow this color. Um, I'm going to go over it with her hair color, so and it's darker, so I'm, I'm good. I'm good to go. So I say now after I just spent an hour, I'm sure it was at least an hour, struggling to make that card. Baby pink. Some blush. Soften those edges that I made. Just blending those colors nice. I'm trying to nice. Give myself a little more definition there. Depth, I should say. Okay, let's get that antique pink for her lips. That baby pink. Soften that antique pink a bit. She looks like she's got a little, a little pout, pout on.
her hand down here. The other one looks like it's kind of tucked behind her back as if she is hiding the present somewhat. Okay, I am going to do her primarily in red. So the reds I like are crimson, lipstick red, and burgundy. And we're going to, I'm going to start with these fabulous boots she has here. It's a fairly small area, so I'm taking advantage of my little ultra fine nibs on my pro markers. I heard some sad news that Letraset might not be um, making them anymore, so we'll have to see if I change markers at that time or when mine run out or what I'll do. We'll see. I do love Copics, but I find I have good control with these ones and they cost me less and the ink lasts longer they don't refill but then I don't have to because they're in ex uh, less expensive I don't have to buy all the markers and all the refills and it's too much for me. My husband would probably kill me if I did that. Just joking. But you know what I mean. I spend a little too much on craft stuff, I think. Okay. Now she has some little stars on her boots that I see here, so I'm going to try and maybe uh, put that in a different green. Okay, so I'm going to do her jacket in red as well. Just do the top of her shoulder in that burgundy because her her head is kind of over her shoulder so it's not going to be the lightest there well I don't think anyway the way my brain works that existing color, my crimson. Just gives me a little more depth. Take out my greens, but I definitely think she calls for some green as well. And she's got a little bit on her sleeve here. And that is going to be very dark. It's way behind there. Okay. I am going to do her hair black. I've got black, ice gray, five, and ice gray two. I normally would do ice gray one, but it is all dried up. I have to 
so my marker oh this is gonna make a little bit of a mess I think my little nib does not work There we go. It survived. It survived. What's cool about this image? Is she has very little hair to color so it's not going to be so painful or as long to color this image as us some of the other ones that we've come across blender pan, clean it up a little, gotta get that black again, and I'm just gonna turn it here, just trying to get a little more depth, once I put the grays in I lost a little bit of that depth there, so we're just getting it back there. I like her with the black. Um, so I'm sure not, I'm still not sure on the color of, of uh, eyes I'm going to give her, but uh, more than likely, probably green as I'm adding some greens in there. Let me grab my greens. I would like pine, forest green, and I think I have bright green. Go a little darker than usual. Just added a little bit of line out there. I'm not sure how that will turn out, but we will play it by here and see how it goes at the end here. like that. Okay, so let's give her uh, the same colors for her eyes. Usually I just go along the top, but what I'm doing here is going around the darkest color and then finish it off. The lightest color. And I'm going to get my gel pen here. Jelly roll. Add those whites back in her eyes. Nice big whites. a little more expressive and now her hair is striped I don't know if I want to do striped or just one solid color that is a tough one for me I'm going to grab some browns I'm going to 
give her tan stockings. I'm going to go with sandstone, sandstone and satin, I think, are the colors I'll go with. Now, my lid was off, so I hope it's not dry. adding a lot of a lot of green and red don't want her to look too uniform if you know what I mean okay hat striped you know I, at this moment I wish I was on Periscope so you can help me decide how to color her hat. I'm procrastinating now. I'm going to do her belt. In the browns again. I really want to add some silver. I'm going to add some silver Winkastella or black Winkastella. I'm not quite sure yet to go around those belt loops. So I'm just leaving that white for now. My goodness, hat, hat, hat. I think I'm going to have to stripe it. Okay. I'm going to go with the norm of what we would normally see. Because the artist gave it to a stripe, we are going to color it striped. so sharply, but we are going to try it anyway. I don't know if any of you have seen some of the new releases from Whimsy Stamps, but man, they're adorable. Total must-have. You should see the new, um, the new Rudolph. I think it's called New Rudolph. It is so adorable. Let me see if I can bring it up on my iPad here to see what exactly it's called. It totally has to be on 
my my must have list just so stinking cute yeah new Rudolph oh my gosh I have to get that so sweet Could make a perfect Christmas card for this year I wish I had it it's so adorable okay is she coming along cute and they have some other ones too, like there's a new pixie that's so sweet, um, new kitty balloon. There's just so many beautiful, beautiful illustrations, images, however you want to call it. And if my pocketbook was unlimited, I my house would be filled with some of the beautiful stamps that I see. Okay, very, very cute. Okay, I think I'm going to just grab my bright green. This area is so tiny, I am not going to try and do any shading. I'm just adding that little bit of green. And then for her pat the present, wondering what a nice color would be to go with that. Um, you know, I'm really liking blues. I think I'm going to try and grab some blues that are right in front of me here. True blue I like, powder blue, and sky blue. I'm just a blue kind of gal. might just be better to have two colors here. It's very small. But the best part about smaller areas, they color quicker. Okay, we are going to add pink. I'm just going to get my baby pink here. I'll put a pink bow. And this pink with the red heart. I need just a little bit of Antique pink here. If I can get that to work a little. It's very dried up. And uh, try and fix it with this. Yep, we gave it just a little bit of shading. Worked well. Even though it was quite dry. Okay, so now, oh yes, I'm gonna get my bright green and color that little star. her boot. So I guess it's the Wink Estella. I guess that's what's going to have to be. Sorry gang, I thought I could get away with that, but I can't. So I have silver and I also have clear. So the silver is what I wanted to put on the belt buckle. And we'll do her little necklace, so she's wearing a little bit of bling. She's got no earrings, so then we've got, I gotta see if this is, dried up 
or not. I don't have much left in there. I think I'm going to just get my lipstick red and color that little bowl. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. Well, I have to say this went so much better than my card making skills. I could have put a little bit of um, shading on the hat here, but I'm just going to glitter up real good, like on this white part. I think it'll pass for this time around. Now I've got to do the old glitter test here. We're going to add glitter to this parcel. I'm thinking almost it glittered her boots. I have just a tad hanging out over here. Try and push that back. A little here. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed the super cute image from Whimsy Stamps. I will put the link underneath, but here is um, their website here and you can find her she's so cute and it comes with a cute little um, sentiment too if I can get myself back there it says define naughty please which is super cute so thanks very much for watching we'll see you next time and uh, I hope you do check out some of the new stamps they have because they are super adorable. So we'll have a great day and we'll talk soon. Bye now.